goes back to when I was a kid. My dad was a pharmacist and he worked for the Chicago Blackhawks. He used to take me to the games. Um, and I spent a lot of time growing up uh, around the Chicago Stadium. And because he was a pharmacist, he hung out with the uh, orthopedic surgeon for the team. And uh, I just thought that it was the coolest job in the world to be able to work with professional athletes and you know, provide them care and, uh, and go to the games. And, uh, and that's kind of what inspired me to go into orthopedics. And, Things changed a little bit. You know, I don't want to necessarily do sports medicine. I don't think, um, but uh, definitely, you know, that was that was what it kind of goes back to. And um, I don't know, that's it. Sure. So the project um, that I wanted to. Uh, a grant award for is a randomized trial of intravenous acetaminophen for patients with hip fractures. Um, and we're randomizing patients uh, to either get uh, intravenous acetaminophen or to not get intravenous acetaminophen. And um, I think it stems from, as a junior resident, seeing these patients on the wards and um, finding better ways to help move them uh, through the hospital safely and get them uh, back to you know, the way they were before their injury. Uh, notice that sometimes, uh, when, anecdotally, I guess, when we would use intravenous acetaminophen, the patients seemed to do really well. Um, but looking into the literature, there was really kind of a hole where intravenous acetaminophen had been used and when it was, you know, the FDA approval, uh, all those studies, some of them looked at, you know, uh, using IV acetaminophen in hip arthroplasty patients but that had never been used in similar operations for patients with hip fractures. And I think it's really a more at-risk population uh, in patients that have, you know, this sudden change in life events, and um, I think that they would benefit more from it than patients with an elective procedure that they're undergoing, so. fortunate to get the grant uh, through the ORAF. Uh, it would have been very hard to do the research without it. Um, it's allowed me to hire on somebody to help us with our statistics and patient enrollment and uh, there's a fair amount of legwork in getting these patients enrolled and then uh, following them up with their mini mental status exams and clinical exams throughout the day, uh, days that they're in the hospital. So um, I think the research would have been very, very difficult to do without the assistance of the grant. Uh, Dr. Gardner, Dr. Michael Gardner, uh, is one of the orthopedic traumatologists at WashU, and uh, he actually suggested that I apply for the grant. Um, I believe at some point that he won a similar award through the REF, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, he said that you know it'd be a, it's a good opportunity. He thought that the study was worthwhile to do and uh, you know was was appropriate, and um, and he's sort of guided me throughout this entire process and you know helped me you know getting the grant uh, written and then turning it in and then, you know, helping with the clinical background otherwise. I think that, well, the, the reason why I wanted to do this interview is because I wanted to at least thank others for donating to such a good cause. And I think that um, one day I plan on donating myself because it's helped me so much, um, it seems right to give back, you know, in turn. <laughs>